Thank you for that live report. Our team coverage moves to CBS 4's Bobeth Yates. She joins us live from Miami Beach with how local leaders are handling these new advisories. Bobeth, good evening. Good evening, Lauren. Well, officials are telling us they are preparing for the worst, but they're expecting the best. And part of that preparation is adding some of these. This is one of the 11 temporary pumps that have been placed in the area. You can follow it. It's going to be pumping water from the street all the way into the canal. I'm pretty sure that it's going to flood because of the drainage system that we have here in Miami Beach. Mateo Darson is among the many Miami Beach residents who've had to endure periodic flooding in the area. And he thinks this weekend will be among those days. It flows for two to three feet. Sometimes you, you will see some people like going around with uh, puddle boarding. And Thursday night, there was heavy downpour, causing portions of Collins Avenue to flood for blocks. The water was going up to people's knees in some areas. Areas. The flood waters caused major traffic delays and even resulted in street barricades floating away. But city officials say they're on top of it. While there are currently no watches or warnings for our county, we are taking proactive steps like deploying portable pumps to low-lying areas of our city. The 11 temporary pumps on Miami Beach will assist the existing pump stations to help alleviate the potential flooding. And Randy right. Smith with the South Florida Water Management District says they have also been emptying out canals all across the South Florida area. In the past four days, uh, we have been making adjustments to the regional canals, the big water management canals, uh, bringing the water levels down. Uh, in anticipation of heavy rain. Smith says they anticipate anywhere from 8 to 10 inches. We want to have plenty of room in these canals when this rain starts to hit. The water from, from our roads and our yards and parking lots has somewhere to go. That's into the canals. Starting Friday night through the weekend, pump stations from South Dade all the way up to Palm Beach will be manned 24 hours. But back on Miami Beach, residents like Darson say they are preparing for the inconvenience. It's so bad that the water goes like increasing and increasing, and it takes two, two to three okay. like hours to go away. Now, city officials say they will also be opening up their parking garages to residents that are in low-lying area. All they can do, they can start parking as late as tonight at 6 o'clock, and their cars can continue there until 8 a.m. Monday morning. But there are some restrictions. The convention center and the 5th Street and City Hall parking garages will not be open to the residents, and they will have to show identification. Setting it back to you guys in the studio.